Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Just going to head on over here. Before we set out on some more epic adventures, we are going to do a couple of bits in town. As we are here in the big city, we may as well make use of it. We're going to go over this way and we're going to gather a fishing daily. Gonna take that one. Well met. And we're also gonna go and get a cooking daily as well. I'm gonna do both of those before we head off into the big shiny world. Arnold and I used to relax down at the moat in the Valley of Heroes. One day I lost my locket in the lake and I have never been able to find it. Rumour has it that a huge royal monkfish, uh, that huge royal monkfish live in that moat and they eat anything. I know it's a long shot, but do you think you could catch a few monkfish and look for my locket? Please let me know right away if you find it. It's very precious to me. Farewell. Where is it? Valley of Heroes. Oh, out here. I see down in that lake there. Right, so we've got a little bit of fishing to do out there. And we also want to go and grab the cooking quest over this way. And that'll get us uh, some more of the cooking tokens and uh, a little bit of XP, plus some more cooking as well. And so it's always what good to have some, you? some more cooking experience. Feeling crabby. Fresh crab legs have always been one of the king's favorite foods. Those are the ones that are in See the canal, later. so that's easy enough to go and get. We run along here, and we're not going to fill our bike up with water. So we'll get rid of the bike a minute, and then we'll come in under here. And if I'm underwater... Oh no, that's just going for my water strider. I thought if I was completely under the water, it might actually get me my um, other mount that I've got, but it's not. Right, well that's fine. We can have our water strider here. We take that one, and then we can run along on the surface of the lake. Oop. We want to run right on the surface. There we go. We go like that. So we grab that one there, and that one there as well, and then jump up, and oh, there's another one over there. I spies it. There it is. Nice easy quest this one is. Well, when, when you've got a mount like this, because otherwise you, you, you're doing this, right? And it takes a long time to get anywhere in the canal when you don't have the ability to run on water. You can actually go and get a potion to run on water, and you can, uh, the potion, there is a potion of water walking. Uh, you can buy that off the auction house, actually. So if you really want to, you can go and get those. I believe... Uh, Death Knights have got an ability to uh, walk on water. I don't know if any other classes have got any kind of ability like that. Uh, but certainly, it, yeah, the Death Knights do. They've got this, um, I can't remember what it's called now. There is a thing they've got that allows them to run on water. They use their mount and off they go. It does look quite cool when they're running around on water. It's got to be said. It is one of the great things about the Death Knight is that you can then get a bike... And you can ride it across the surface of the lake. It looks very, very awesome. Every time. Every time I see that, I think this is how it should be done. Right? If you're going to walk on water, you may as well do it in a bike. Because it nice big. I'd, I'd like to be able to do it in our new tread blade. I want to be able to do it on this. I want to be able to ride this across the surface of a lake. Because I think that would just look epic. Because this thing looks even more epic than the regular bike. Um, and the epic, the, the regular bike does look fairly epic, but I just feel that this one looks a little bit more so. Right, so we want to come down here and we want to do a little bit of fishing. Do it like that. Um, I don't know if we should equip our fishing rod so that then we can have a fishing boost on it as well. What are we up? We're not up very high at the moment. And um, I mean, I was considering going to the fair, actually, at some point. I've not yet been to the fair, and so this was something that I was actually considering doing. Uh, we take our fishing rod right there, and we apply that one like that, and then we go... Uh, night crawlers. Oh, you need level 50 for the night crawlers. Didn't I have a glass bauble? I think I needed even higher for the glass bauble. And I don't have it here anyway. Right. So we need to get to a higher level to be able to apply the night crawler. That we need to go up to level 50. But then we'll be able to apply night crawlers to our fishing rod, which is going to significantly boost our fishing skill. We're going to want to do a little bit more fishing, actually. We haven't done enough, and we're only up to level 48. And you can see that 
by what we're pulling in. We're pulling in grey quality. We want to be pulling in better quality stuff. And to be able to pull in better quality stuff, you need a better fishing skill. And also the zones that we go into, there is a raw bristle whisker catfish. I don't know if they... To cat, is there a cooking recipe for catfish? I'm not actually sure. Uh, we're up to 49. There we go. We get another one. There's some tattered cloth. Go on. One more point, and then we'll be able to put our night crawler on, which will boost us by 50 points, and we should start getting some better stuff. Um, we've got a few fishing recipe, a few rec cooking recipes now for fish, so we should be able to like boost both of them up, which is something that I'm hoping to be able to do. Another piece of tattered cloth. You're never going to get rich pulling this stuff out of here, are you? Let's be honest. You're never going to get rich pulling stuff out of this lake. It doesn't seem to doesn't seem to produce vast amounts of wealth. If you want to produce vast amounts of wealth, you go while the Dark Moon Fair is on. There we go. We've got level 50 now. While Dark Moon Fair is on, you go down into the Dark Moon Fair and you... Right, we've now got plus 5 fishing skill. Well, it's only plus 5. I thought it was more than that. I thought it was plus 50 for some reason. I don't know why I thought it was plus 50. Um, oh, I got the glass bauble out of the fishing thing, didn't I? Yeah, uh, the, the fishing rewards bag. But yeah, of, if, of the pier of um, in the Dark Moon Fair, there's a pier right down the far end. You've seen it there yesterday in... Was it yesterday or last time? I think it was last time or the time before. One of the previous episodes, I... Um, did a little bit of fishing. Uh, I showed you us all fishing as a guild. We were doing a whole load of it off the end of the pier. Um, and I thought it was a lot of fun. Go here. Uh, fill it the monkfish. Find out what's inside. Ah, we got it. So, right on the first one. We didn't get a lot, though. Two bristle whisker catfish. We're going we're gonna to have to do better than that, I think. Uh, so I want to re-equip my kobold basher. And also my shield, the high lord's favour, up there. We've got our Battle Smasher of the Fire Flash for when we get slightly higher in level um, that Kroll very kindly sent to us. But we can't use it yet, so we have to hold on to that for a minute. Um, yeah, you, you go down to the end of the pier in Dark Moon Fair and you fish off the end of the pier and you fish up uh, Dark Moon Dagamore. They sell on the auction house for anywhere from 30 to 50 gold apiece. Um... I had, you know I said that I made a load of money? I made all that money by selling Dark Moon Dagamore. I actually sold them at a discount because I wanted the money. I really, really wanted the money. So I ended up taking a hit on the amount of cash and I sold them at a discount. Probably shouldn't have done. I was, uh, I really wanted, the, I really wanted those mounts. Um, so I ended up selling them for less than I, I should have done. Um, in future, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably just hold on to them. Keep in mind, though, that Dark Moon something? Fair is only here for... Let me just show you here a sec. Uh, Dark Moon Fair is on at the moment. It's on for a week. Uh, but then it's not here for three weeks. It turns up for one week out of four. So in this period in here, you're not going to get anything coming up with Dark Moon Fair. Right? You're not going to sell Dark Moon Fair items either. It's just not going to happen. Um, we've got the WoW's 14th anniversary right here. And then we've also got the Pilgrim's Bounty stuff. That's going on for a week there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming up that I think is going to be some good fun. So we, we might have a look at some of these events that are coming up. So the Feeling Crabby, we've already read all of this um, previously, but we get our lines. cooking skill. Ten cooking awards we've got now. So we Greetings. can go and we can buy, we can use these to buy um, level 80 cooking rewards right there. Or we get our crate of tasty meat. Um... I'm sometimes tempted to buy a crate of tasty meat because it, I think it's appropriate level stuff. I think we'll buy one crate and we'll see what we get from it just to see what it's like. Imported supplies lots of cocoa beans. That is cocoa beans one. as far as I know. So let's just have a look and see what we get in our crate of tasty we got toughened flesh, basilisk liver, and a motorized bone saw. Right, that is... Toughened flesh and basilisk livers. I'm not sure what level they are, but I think they're quite. I think maybe they are cataclysm level. Let's have a look. Let's let's search in here. Basi, basilisk liver dog. It's cataclysm. That's a cataclysm recipe, right? And toughened flesh as well. Cataclysm recipe, right? 
So I got that wrong. It is meat for the Cataclysm levels rather than our own levels, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, let's go over this way and we will very quickly just turn this one in. And then I'll go and deposit those bits of meat into our reagent bank hey so that we hold on to them. The big gulp. Were you able to find my locket? Yes, I was. You found it. I can't believe it was down there after all those years. You have no idea how much this means to me, Grondon. See you around. Right. What do we get from the bag of shiny things? We've got a chipped hairbrush, which is worth one silver, and a swim speed potion, which is actually kind of useful if you don't have mounts that... Uh, I mean, it might be useful anyway. It's only 20 seconds. We'll hold on to that one. That's vendor trash. Everything there is vendor trash. Uh, the warped leather boots. That was stuff I was supposed to be trying to sell. Right. Let us go. So the plan is to head off to here. Which is the Burning Steps. The one directly north of Red Ridge. We're going to go to the Burning Steps first. And we're going to play through those quest lines. If you have a look on the board here. See Burning Steps. Speak with Keishan. The Blackrock clan is poised to attack Red Ridge and other neighbouring lands. The aggression of the Blackrock orcs cannot be left, left unchecked. Work with Keishan to stop the Blackrock from advancing across the Eastern Kingdoms. Ragnaros, Dark Iron Dwarfs are organising and appear poised to attack Alliance-controlled territories. Work with the Thorian Brotherhood to uncover their motives and end their incursion. That's in the Syrian Gorge. You've got Ungoro Crater as well, which... That one's quite good fun, but we're going to take this one here. By order of His Royal Highness King Andrew Inrin, all able-bodied citizens of the Alliance are to report to John J. Keishan at Flamestar Post. Your aid is urgently needed to put an end to the Black Rock Hawk menace. I knew John J. Keishan wasn't dead. We didn't find a body, did we? You can reach a burning steps by travelling south from Searing Gorge through Black Rock Mountain. Look for Flamestar Post on the far side of the mountain. For the glory and honour of the Alliance. Uh, from the Searing Gorge. I'm not, I have never gone into the Searing Gorge. So we're going to need to go north from Red Ridge in order to be able to get there. That's the only way that we're getting into the Burning Steps. Um, so we'll come waltzing on up through here with our massive great big mount. And we get to the Griffin Master. So you. we don't have that available. We can go to Dunmorrow up there, Telsamar and Karanos. Uh, but we can't go into any of those. So we're going to need to go over to Lakeshire. Go with honor. Go to Lakeshire here. See, I still don't know what those circles are. I've no idea what those circles are and what they mean. I'm not sure if it's an add-on or something that I've got. Yeah, no clue. Anyway, we're going to head over there. And once we get to Red Ridge, we're then going to need to travel north. Up that road there, into the Burning Steps. And once we get into the Burning Steps... We've got to report to John J. Keishan at Flamestar Post. I'm sure I had another quest. Not, no, I'm not there. Uh, oh, that was in Badlands. We had one there in Badlands, but we didn't want to do that one. Now all we got to do is head north. And, I don't know, Steelbound Devourer. I think we're going to go north. I know that we are like a, um, a wonderful, amazing paladin. But I'd quite like to head north on this bad boy right here. We've got a quest. Let's go and do this daily down here. Because we can get a little bit of XP with this one. Need to be closer. So we'll do that one. We will do battle with her. Uh, you can take me in a pet battle. Let's rumble. Because she's quite easy. She's got level 5s. And although mine have taken some damage, hers are only white quality. So we ought to be able to do this relatively simple. Simply, I should say. Right. Uh, now I need to just jab like this. We go through this. We'll do this a couple times. So I'm, I'm. What I'm going to do is each time I kill one. So take that one out there. She's going to swap hers over. I'm going to use this turn to swap over to the next harbinger of flame. So I um, level them up easily. Uh, simply, strong trap. No switch pet. So we got that first one. We'll take number two this time. And he gets a free hit if you change over, but then we'll use that one there. A strong hit there. And then we will jab, dealing 82 to 123 damage. If you go against a dragon, you do more damage. And some people in the guild are really, really getting into their pets. And 
it's it can be quite an addictive thing. It's it's kind of like um, I've been told it's kind of like oh what do you call it uh, Pokemon. It's kind of like Pokemon. Okay, dodge. Your chance to dodge has increased. Right. Well, we'll hit with this one because it's going to miss whatever, and then we'll hit with this one here so that we get our increased damage there on him, and then we'll go with the jab and finish it off. Jamie O'Connell is going to finish this strongly. I don't remember calling this one Jamie O'Connell. When did I call this one Jamie? Maybe it was just because I was carrying it round, or I don't remember. Anyway, they've all leveled up. Jamie O'Connell has reached level 7. Complete the quest right there. That wasn't fun at all. Nope, I don't think it was. Right, so then if I have a look at... No, I don't want to have a look in there. I want to have a look in collections. Uh, pet journal. Right there. Why are they all called... Oh, it's just one of them is called Jamie O'Connell. I renamed one of them. I don't remember naming the Harbinger of Flame Jamie. I thought I named something else Jamie. It really did. But anyway, Har Harbinger of Flame is now level 7. On there. It doesn't go up there. Oh, no, you click you click the actual portrait of the animal over here. Level 10, you start to upgrade and get some new ones here. The reason I've got these three was because I thought, I'll level three of them all together. Um, and I will... Um, when they've all reached level 25, I'll sell them. And that, that was kind of the plan with that. Sagefish. Sagefish right there for some more fishing. What is our sagefish? Uh, smoke sagefish there for raw sagefish. Uh, the, the better sagefish was level 175, wasn't it? So that, we could still get something from that if we were to go fishing there. I've already done some fishing today. Okay, no, I won't do any more fishing or pets today. We'll do more fishing in tomorrow's episode. Actually, I don't even know if I can do fishing up in the next place. But we're going up on this one. I feel that this one is a suitable mount to take up where we're going. Because um, we're, we're going right up into a very, very dangerous place. One of the first things you used to do when you played World of Warcraft, right? Everybody does it at some point. Uh, well, I say everybody. Most people did it. What you would do is you'd start off and you'd be down here in Elwyn Forest. You'd be wandering around. This is level 1 to 20. You'd be level 3 or 4 down here doing your first quests. Something would pique your curiosity and you would venture across into Duskwood. And those at the time I think were around level 30, 25 to 30. Basically they had great big skulls where their level count is because they were t more than 10 levels above you. And you would have a wolf very quickly eat you and that was the end of you and so that was where you learned that actually there are some places you don't want to venture the second time this happened was here you'd be working or you'd be doing stuff here in red ridge and you'd come up here and you would see oh there's this stuff wait a minute what's this i did not expect to see a um great big elite up here i don't even remember finding this elite up here Elite's dangerous no matter what level you're at. So we want to be a bit careful. I'm going to take out this minion a minute because that's going to also be doing us some damage. I don't have a target. Ah, the minion's down. That's good. That's a very, very good thing. Um, it, yeah, you'd go over there, you'd go across that bridge, and then anything within 100 yards would come running because you were such a low level compared to them. And they would take you down, and that would be the end of you. Uh, that, that, that's generally what happened, right? That would increase dodge. Uh, we'll, we'll use both of them, actually. So we'll increase dodge, but we'll also increase strength, which is going to do us some extra damage. I'm going to use that one there. Um, and using explosives in your cooldowns is actually quite a good idea because we, we're kind of waiting for things to cool down at times here. So, like, throwing in the odd iron grenade in our rotation for um, doing the fight is quite a good idea. And I've seen this on a forum somewhere. I was sort of reading about, um, you know, different perks for engineering. Somebody said, oh, they make loads and loads of bombs, and they use them all the time in combat because they're so good. And they, they really are. That They're really, really spectacular when it comes to like, helping you out in combat. Um, because it's just an extra thing that you've got to throw into your rotations. you just got to remember to use them. Um, so that's what we've done there. we remember to use it this time. Soldier's Shield of the Aurora. Have a look at that in a minute. Let's have a look. Uh, 
We lose some dodge, but we gain haste and versatility and 19 armor. Losing that little bit of dodge isn't great, but I'm thinking this is quite good, actually. What, what does it look? Let's see. First of all, we need to see what it looks like. Okay, so there's our shield. That one right there. This one here. That's a round shield. Really? I'm going to run away from her now. I'm not doing that again. Uh, that shield looks pretty good. Let's let's run away first, and, th and then we'll see what we can do. Um, and So, yeah, you would head up this way, and you would go through these gates, and that would be the end of you. You, you would go through there. You, you would not last very long once you've gone through those gates. You really wouldn't. Right, she's given up and gone away, which is a good thing. And there, right. We've taken care of that Black Rock Summoner as well. And you'd come into here, and yeah, there, there would be things around here. I don't remember the imps being here. The flame kin torches. The, these are new. I don't remember these. Um, I'm sure they probably were here, to be honest. Too far away. Maybe they weren't. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm not closer. actually remembering these properly, but I got spitters and torches and everything here. They all seem to be attacking me all at once. I'm not quite sure why. Why can't we all just get along? Why such violence? There's no need for this. There's a lot of them here. If I go around the corner a bit, of some of them aren't going to be able to reach me. Guessing that would be a better thing. You down there. Let me do that and interrupt him. He come in a bit closer and I can take him out. Like that, see? I wasn't expecting quite this reception. It's got to be said. I need to, like, do that like that so it makes him come in a bit closer. There we go. Right, and then I got another one over there. Like that. Interrupt him so that he comes in a bit closer. And then they're all in here, and then I can take them out. Right. And there's no loot from any of them either. I find that to be very disappointing. There's a flame fly over there. There's another one there. Okay, we're just going to have to try to ignore these. We're going to run right past them. They're not giving us loot. This is not how things are supposed to be. They're supposed to give us loot. So there's our reception into this Black Rock Mountains. We're going to need to follow this track all the way along. There's a there's a, a flight point there, but we want to get over there. Heroes call, burning steps. Right. We've made it this far. You can see it's not a very friendly place. It really isn't. So what we're going to do is... I've got several items here for food. The Goblin Deviled Clams. There's a single item on its own there, which I will consume. And I'll put that one up there like that. Uh, so that's going to give us five stamina and versatility. I am going to equip this shield. So there we go. We've got five stamina and versatility. We equip this shield right there. We'll bind it to you. Yes, okay. So dodge has gone down by 1%, but versatility has increased. Uh, damage and healing done and increased damage taken. Uh, decreases damage taken. So that's, you know, I feel it's a reasonable offset there. Uh, parry chance hasn't changed. Armor chance has physical damage reduction. That's a good thing. Uh, so overall, I think it's, it's not a bad trade-off. Even though we have now lost the, um, the little extra of... Um, yeah, we've lost 1% on our parry chance, wasn't it? No, dodge. Our dodge chance. We've lost 1% on dodge. Uh, that is a cockroach up there. I don't really want to go for cockroaches just yet. They can stay where they are for a minute. We've got elementals over here. Greater obsidian. I've seen um, ore over there, which I didn't actually go for. I do apologize. I left the ore behind. I didn't go for it. I should have done. I feel like I've, um, I've failed now. We want to keep going. Oh, there's some more up there. Let's head up this way. Where we're going to go for it. Yeah, what do we get? Oh, it's mithril. We're in the zones where we can harvest mithril now. I'm going to try to use this mount, the Steelbound Devourer in this mount. It feels suitable for this mount. It really does. All the flame, fire, and destruction everywhere. This seems like a, a well-suited mount for this particular job. So we're going to keep running over. I'm going to get to the flight point, wherever it is. If there's quests here, I'm not going to bother unlocking any quests. Oop. Um, but I am going to pick up the flight point that's here. The ruins of Thorisan. And there's something moving there. I'm guessing that's where we want to head. 
We grab that mithril there and mount back up again. There is another... After we've been here, the next place that I would really like to go is um, Wintergrasp. I really, really want to go to Wintergrasp and do the quest chains up there. It's a place that I particularly like. I have talked about it before. Uh, I've spent a lot of time there farming the Wintergrasp um, Tiger. We will only be using the Wintergrasp Tiger while we're up there. It seems like it's the only suitable mount to be using in such a place. Um, but no, right now we want to head over here. We, we, we'll, we'll do this zone first. We'll worry about other zones later. But we've now got that place unlocked there. We can walk through the Fields of Honor. Report to John J. Kishin is a great big statue right there. What's that all about? Not quite sure what that statue is all about. The Black Tooth Hovel. There is a venom tip scorpid. Seems like a friendly sort of creature. So where have we got to go? That's Purin Darkhammer. He's got level 17 creatures with him. So we don't want to go... We, we don't want to, like, do our um, pet tamer quest thing with him. Because ours are only level 7. We wouldn't stand a chance. What about you? What are you? You're a, a lava beetle. I'm pretty sure I got a load of lava beetles. What was that in... Hang on a minute... What was that? Oh, it was myth Mithril. Okay, we'll go for the Mithril. I thought maybe it was something in the lava. I don't know if the lava is actually something I can... Oh, okay. Looks like we got a little fight on our hands before we do anything else. So let's just take care of these two. We've got a bit... I feel that we've got a bit more of a challenge with these. I know we've had a challenge wherever we go now because... Um, the whole uh, zone levels and that are now matched to us, which I really like. These do seem slightly tougher than the ones we were fighting in Westfall. Seems like we've got more to do with them. Red Wolf Meat. I'm not sure if I've got a thing with Red Wolf Meat. Sia has now earned 100 fish. Well done. That's uh, Troves. Gooseman X. Uh, oh, no. Oh, Steel Bound Devourer. We've got to have that one. Let's just say congratulations. There we go. We say that a lot in this game, because every time somebody gets an achievement, we say it. You have a look here. Um, I've earned 1,416 out of 3,235 achievements. Right? Now, if everybody on all of their characters has 3,000 achievements, uh, so yeah, well, we tend to say grats quite a bit. Doesn't really mean a great deal. I, I don't... I, I do tend to look at the quests, the, the achievements, a little bit. So I don't always say it. Um, I just say it sometimes. It just sort of depends. Also, it depends if I see it. Um, some of them are, you know, the sort of thing that you say to a new player. But when a player has gone back um, who's been playing for a while and gets, you know, fishes up a fish, it's, it's not really a, a congratulations type moment. It's more a, oh, he's gone fishing type moment. Um, why on earth would you start leveling fishing on another character type moment? That's that's more what it is, at least for me anyway. Could be different for other people. John J. Keishan. Greetings. It's time for the Black Rock Orcs to feel the full wrath of the Alliance. They will pay for what they've done. What happened to you, man? I've got your bandana. Look, I got it right here. Keishan's bandana. You better, you, you better explain what happened, dude. You. You better explain what happened. I'm, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to have a little chat with you in a minute. You it's got, got my attention. Hang on a minute. Be good. Be good. Talk to me. Talk to me. The Black Rock Orcs of the Steppes serve a dark master. One who performs twisted experiments on living creatures to create his own menagerie of abominations. Many of his test subjects are as corrupted as their master, but others are completely innocent. In the whelping downs... Downs, downs to the south. They chain baby dragons to the ground, preparing them for such experiments. I will not stand for this. Break their fetters and return the hatchlings to me s to safety. Okay, off with you. We can do that. I think I need a bit of practice with my Scottish accent for the dwarfs. It does it does vary slightly between the different models. Um, but yeah, I, I probably could do with a little bit of practice on that. Need help? Right. There. Boom. Grundorn. Is that you? I thought you were dead with the rest of them. No. You were always strong even back then. Even in Red Ridge. 
fight's not over, Grundorm. They already attacked our homeland once, but I'm here to make sure it doesn't happen again. If you can still fight like you did back in the day, then join me. You can start by heading south to the Whelping Downs, slaying their whelpers and their hatching black dragons. It'll be like old times. For the Alliance. Okay. So he thought that we were dead. Nothing else, just... Dude, I thought you were dead. Well, what do you know? And that's it. Nothing else. Nothing to explain how he got here. I'm hoping he fills us in on a bit of this, because otherwise I'm going to feel a little bit hard done by. So, we got those there that we want to take down, and there's a whelper over there. You come over here. I'd like a little chat with you, if you don't mind. Uh, we'll drop that one down there. And then we'll do that. We'll throw in this one here like that, and I'll hit that one. See, it stuns them and it does damage. I'd like to build up um, my engineering skills slightly and get some better bombs so that we've got something a bit better against these. Um, unreliable against targets higher than level 50. So we've kind of reached the level, the target, um, I need a target. limit for the bombs now because we're on level 51s. Um, so yeah, we, we've reached our limit on that. We run over here and grab that whelping there. Whelpling. Whelpling, not whelping. Uh, there. Bronze whelping. Whelpling. I don't know why I keep saying whelping. Whelplings. There we go. A little bit of that. And we bring up the steel bound devourer. I love this creature. Really love this creature. I also love the place that we're in. Look at look at these mountains and stuff. This is awesome. Uh, what's that? Farming. Oh, I see. It's like a um, a chat thing that you can like send out a call for some additional help on any particular item that you happen to be doing. Um, so you can let other people join in with it if you want to. It is pretty good. You're there. So yeah, you as you're going through, you can like um, get other people to join up with you and do some quests if you're finding it a little bit difficult. Me, personally, I'm a rather antisocial sort, so I, I, I don't generally get involved with that. Um, but yeah, that's just the way I am. Look at the mountain. We're going to be in the shadow of this mountain for quite some time now. It does look very impressive, doesn't it? Okay, you know what I'm doing right now. Let me get on with it. Don't judge me. I felt you judging me, so I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to show you the screenshot until you've watched the video. Although, technically, you'll have seen the screenshot before I start this video. Matos. Okay, that loud screaming is actually my boss mods, uh, the boss timers thing. It comes up with that. It does that when you see a rare spawn like this one right here, this dragon right here, which I'm going to take on now. I may regret this decision, but I'm hoping I don't. So we'll do that. And if you can find these rare spawns, you can usually get some good loot from them. His health seems to be going down at a reasonable rate. Let's um, throw in everything that we can just to help us. Flame breath. That's, um, yeah, we can ignore that. If he does do that again, I'll see if I can interrupt him. I forgot about my interrupt. I always forget about my interrupt. There we go. Oh, no, that's a non-interruptible one. I could use that, but that doesn't work either. Stun very often doesn't... That stun there, the Hammer of Justice stun, very often doesn't work against the boss. There we go, see? I've now taken him down. Silver. We've got a major healing potion which we use. A Dragon Fang, 13 copper... Uh, silver, rather. And Ornate Cloak of the Fire Flash. This is a back item which we can actually use of the Fire Flash. Haven't we got... Yes, we got the Battle Smasher of the Fire Flash. We've now got the ornate cloak of the fire. So what is fire flash? It's critical strike and haste. Ah, that's crit and haste. You see they've got of these different things, like of the aurora, haste and versatility. And that's mistscape. I'm guessing that's the intellect. Um, but they're, they're very often they will have of these different um, things. Like uh, these are quest items, which makes it a little bit different. Um, I don't know if we've got any of ones at the moment. Of the droplet, right there. Breastplate of the droplet. That's plus haste and intellect. Uh, cloak of hoarding. That's uh, stamina and dodge. 
So yeah, you, you get these different of ones, and um, they, they have different names. So you can generally you can sort of find a set of gear that uh, fits quite well. So this one here, again, we're going to lose dodge if we take that, but we gain crit, we gain haste, stamina, strength, armor. I don't like you losing the dodge because we're losing the the of hoarding aspect of it, but um, overall, yes, we take it. We lose one percent dodge. Drop down to 4%. But we gain a load of extras, including the armor and everything. So overall, I think we've improved. And also, the long white cloak does look quite cool. Looks quite elegant, actually. It, it, it seems quite fitting for someone of our stature. Of our magnificence. You know, we are, after all, a noble paladin. Who does noble things and noble deeds. So there's that to take into account. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with that one. We'll stick with that come out of there and then bring up my steel bound devourer because we've got gold gold actual real gold going to have to fight a, a, a little puppy over there for it except the puppy's gone the other way so excellent right real gold now in our bags then we can go this way we've got uh, flame scale broodlings there's one flame scale broodling it's the first one that i found there was one up the mountain. Oh, there's more up there. Right. Well, we need to head up that way anyway to do the other quest that we've got. So we'll do that in a minute. And we'll take you down here. See, it's it's unreliable. He's only just above 50 as you get higher still. Um, it does less and less damage to them. And we already noticed that these don't do a massive amount of damage anyway. So what we'll probably do is once we're able to level up our... Um, uh, our, 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 our engineering a little bit higher... Uh, we'll then sort of get rid of those bits. We've got a flame scale broodling there and another broodling there. I will take both of these on. Like this, uh, plus the other, the whelper that is turned up as well. Get rid of all of them. Um, yeah, we'll sell those. We'll just sell them to a merchant or something um, so that we can level up a bit higher. And we want to make the mithril ones. And then there's thorium ones after that. This zone here, we get a load of mithril. And then in our next zone... Um, in winter grass, I think it's winter grass. Is it winter grass? Winter. It's not winter grass. What is it? Need to have a look. I don't know what it's called now? Ruined dragon hide there. Uh, what is it? Mount Hygel. Winter spring. Winter spring. Winter grass is there. It's the PvP area in Northrend, by the way. Um. No, once we get to winter spring, we're going to need to do a bit more with... Um, wait, what's that? Oh, it's a, I've already got a bronze one. I need a green and a blue. There's a green over there. Um, yeah, we go to winter spring. We should be picking up thorium in winter spring, which means that we'll be able to do a bit more with our um, engineering again and make even more powerful bombs, which we'll be able to use in our combat. Which would be a good thing. I, I think that would be a wonderful thing. Right, let's have a healing potion here a minute as well. You can only have one healing potion in any one combat, by the way. Right, so I've now used my healing potion in this combat. And I no longer have a healing potion at all that I can use. Uh, so that's just a one-off. I've only got six or five of them left now anyway. I've been using those up. I have to get some more of those. Healing potions, again, is another thing that can be quite target. useful. Yes, admittedly, we are a paladin, so in theory, we shouldn't need to be using healing potions at all. That, that's not a thing that should ever actually come into it. There we go. That one's out. And we can free the fettered green whelpling. We've got mithril there that we're going to grab. But before we do that, we want to eat again because we've lost our buff. So we will eat the curiously tasty omelette. And that is the last of those bigger groups of them. And I'm not going to take a potion at the moment. Even though I can get the potion on. I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's a bronze. I need a blue. Oh, there's a blue up there. Right next to that um, mithril as well. Ideal. Two birds and one stone. All that sort of thing. Two dragons with one stone. Ideal. Right. I'll take you like that. And I'll hit you with that one. And I'll use up a bomb. I may as well use them. There. And he's stunned at the moment. Well, he's no longer stunned, but he was stunned. And go on, shield. Right. Uh, as your shield increases in power, it so it does also do more damage with like the Avengers shield. If you can um, get a, a bigger and a better shield as you go through, 
There we go. And we'll get that as well. Take that one. Mithril ore. Right, what's this? Compact Harvester Reaper. We'll fight for you for 10 minutes or until it's destroyed. 10 minute cooldown. Why is that? Oh, that's got the same cool... No, it's not got the same cooldown. as. It's got the same cooldown as that, the engineering. We haven't used that yet. We need to. Requires level 30. We need to try that one out. That's, we have not yet tried it out in noble combat. <gasps> no, what am I doing? I need, the, I need a steel-bound devourer. Frith, stick with what you were planning. Um, so, we will head back now and we'll turn in these two quests. We will pick up the next two quests and I'm hoping that we can um, hunker down for the night over there where John J. Keishan is. I'm hoping he's got somewhere for us to sleep. If he hasn't, I'm going to be bitterly disappointed with him. He must have sorted out something. If not, then we'll head back over to the other place. And maybe there's somewhere there that we can sleep instead. But I'm hoping that we can get a bit of rest here. Okay, it doesn't look like we can get any rest here. It's a bit of a shame. Alright, let's take out the Ember Warg here. And the Venom Tip Scorpid as well. Except that we're not taking out that one. He's, he's running away. They do that sometimes. They run all the way up to hit you. And then immediately take evasive action and disappear. Which is slightly frustrating. Okay. Mutant Flame Star. Here there. Here there. I hope we weren't too late. I'll see to it these dragons are taken care of. What do we want? He's offering us minus two critical strike if we could replace Gidwin's medallion. Uh, or we go for the Hatchling's Protector, which is another shield, which is a downgrade again. So we want to just look at the two and take the most expensive one, which is that one. Which we will Watch end up selling. Watch your back. Watch your back. See you later. Right. Well met. Glad to have you on my side, Grundon. Bravo Company reunited, right? Oh, did I mention that Trokeman's here too? I won't let those damned orcs invade Redridge again. Right, so we got three quests from him. Let's take these three quests a minute. If we're going to wage war against the Blackrock clan, we're going to need to plan ahead. My colonel has already put the plan together. Now it's time to execute. I need Scorpid Stingers, the sharpest ones you can find. Scorpids are all over the steppes, but you can find most of them in the gulch to the west. Don't worry about what they're for. You'll find out soon enough. Okay, I've got to admit, I am a little bit concerned about that. Um, let's see. We'll need warg hides, and lots of them. It doesn't matter if they're torn, burned or bloody. We need plenty of them. Actually, it's probably better if they're a little beat up. You'll find wargs both to the west and to the east of here. I hope you're not afraid of getting dirty. Judging by the looks of you, that won't be a problem. Well, thanks. To the north, at the lava's edge, you'll find piles of dark mud. I need it. It'd be best if you didn't ask questions and focus your efforts on following orders, Grundorn. Be careful. I'm not the sort to just blindly follow orders, I'll have you know. I like to have a reason to do these things. So you just telling me to get oh, off and go and do it... Not sure I'm happy with that. Right, let's head over to Chisel Grip and see if we've got somewhere that we can sleep over here because we're running towards the end of the episode now. Damocles has come online. Good afternoon, sir. Let's do that. Uh, so we want to head over there. We'll find an inn, somewhere to rest up, and then that's going to be our also where we're going to put our um, our what do you call our thingamajig, our this one Hearthstone. We put our hearthstone onto there, as long as there is an inn here. There may not be an inn here either, and if there isn't, that's going to be a tad inconvenient, because where's the nearest place? I suppose actually down in Red Ridge would be the nearest place if there isn't one here. There's got to be one here. I won't take no for an answer, there has to be one here. Uh, Thorian Brotherhood. I'm actually exalted, I think, with the Thorian Brotherhood, with um, Frithgar. It took it took me a while. Uh, Hodric Blade Bender. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Watch your back. See you later. Um. All right. Well, let's climb up here and see if maybe there's an inn up the top. Nope. The, 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 these aren't inns. These are not inns. The, there are no inns here at all. How am I supposed to rest if there's no inns? Right, see, we've got, like, um... He's a tailoring trainer. 
some kind of tailor, and then we've got some blacksmithing stuff there. The Thorian Brotherhood are renowned for their blacksmithing. Campfire. If I go into one of these, is 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 that going to? Nope. That's no good either. Nope. That was no good. There is literally nowhere to sleep in this zone. What am I to do? There is a very particular... Re oh, hang on. What's this? Morgan's Vigil. Is that somewhere to go and sleep? <gasps> Maybe I need to go there. We came up round there. Maybe that's where I should go. Okay, we're going to go there. It's a good idea to find somewhere to sleep. And I know that you know anybody that's played this game before will know all about this. But there are those of you who haven't, so I will briefly explain it. If you see down here, you can see I'm rested. I'm gaining 200% of normal experience gained from killing monsters. Doesn't apply to quests or anything like that, but from kills, you gain double XP. And if we look up through here, skill in mining, uh, it's not actually showing my skills there. Greater Obsidian Elemental, someone has killed one right here. It's I too can, far away. I can mine that. There's two lots of mithril right next. Thorium ore. We got our very first piece of thorium. Let's use a mountain goat to climb up here. Go on. I can just reach it. The other mithril is over there. We'll go and grab that one. Um, yeah, you only gain rested XP by resting. Okay, so if you exit as a, if you exit the game. Um, while you're in a city or at an inn, somewhere like that, then you'll have little Z's, little Z's up there across your number. Uh, that indicates that you are, in fact, resting. If you're resting, then it increases the amount of rested XP that you get. Now, our rested XP goes beyond this level. You get a little bar on it that sort of shows up to tell you where the rested XP point is. And it's really useful because... As you're sort of working through, you're gaining extra XP, which is always really wonderful. Now, I thought that actually, in general, on here... So, we go to settings here, and you've got those you've got channels. We've got other right here, XP. I like having XP on my general channel. If I zoom up now, reputation with the guild, your skill in mining. So, it, hasn't, it doesn't retroactively apply it, but it will show XP gained in the chat bit now. I'm going to go and I'm going to do an attack against one of these. And you'll see then it'll come up down here with the rested XP. Um, so I'll just show you this very quickly. And it should tell you how much XP we get. There, look, see? Reputation with the Hydraxian Waterlords has now increased. And that one is in classic right here. Darnassus, Exodar, Gilneas, Gnomeregon, those are all friendly, 599. Soon going to go to Honoured for all of them. Ironforge is slightly higher. To Shui Pandaren, that's the same as all of those. And Stormwind were already exalted. You start off exalted with whichever race you're with. Uh, so those will go up. Hydraxian Waterlords, I'm exalted with those on Frithgar. Okay, that requires lots and lots of runs in one single raid, once you get by on there. A uh, Raven Holt, I am exalted. Blood Cell Buccaneers, I'm... I don't know if it's liked or friendly or exalted or what it is, but it's high. Uh, most of those, this here, I'm way up high. I don't know if I've actually got exalted or if they're revered or something. Um, but they're much higher than that. I'll show you one day on Frith. I've done a lot of work on those. I have done a huge amount. But anyway, here... Elemental die, 610 XP, 305 XP rested bonus. So you get an idea as you're going through of just how much you get from your rested bonuses. And it does add up. It's worth taking the time to hearth back at the end of the day. So this is why I'm taking the time to find an inn. I want to find somewhere to rest. It's the end of the day. I need to find somewhere to rest. It's the only logical thing that we can do. And also I'm, I'm grabbing every little bit of cash that I can find. Right here. Uh, are you really going to stand here and fight me? I thought you were going to run away. We're not very far away now from that place I spied on the map. And I think... Because that was another um, flight point. I don't know if that's um, phased, though. It might be phased. Elemental Earth is not really worth very much. But there... Um, see, we get 1650 XP for mining that. I thought I already mined this one. Oh, no. I got that as loot. 
Um, and then we just mined it now. We've got some more mithril. But, um, yeah, you, you get the, the, the rested XP. It's, on, it's only from kills. It's not from anything else. Just kills. But it's still worth doing. Let's run down here. Now, where is it? Where is it? No, it's not there. It's on a little bit further. There's more mithril. I'm going to leave it now. This place is absolutely riddled with mithril, and we could obviously spend an awful lot of time mining mithril. There's more mithril right in front of me, up here. And this looks like a zone that we want to get to. Morgan's Vigil. And there is a flight point right there. I can see it right behind me. So if I mount up on my steelbound devourer, come back in here... We will get the flight point, and we will hope and pray that we've got an inn here somewhere. Please let me have an inn. Where's the flight point? Oh, it's over here. It was right behind me. Uh, there. You are food and drink. You are an adventure board. No. No. All tents and nothing else. Tents and nothing else. Nope. Nothing here. There is nowhere to rest anywhere on this map. I am bitterly disappointed by this. There's nowhere in Chisel Grip. There's nowhere over there at Flame Star. And there's nowhere here at Morgan's Vigil. So what we're going to do is that one would take us all the way to Sentinel Hill. I don't want to go there. It's too far away. How are ya? We will go here and Camp Everstill, no, Lakeshire and Red Ridge. So we don't want to go to those. Okay, probably Lakeshire and Redridge is going to be the best one. Even though it is slightly annoying in Lakeshire that the flight point is across the bridge from that point. That I've, I'll set my flight, my um, hearthstone in there, and that's where we'll rest whenever we log out from this zone here. There is no hearthstone anywhere in this zone. So we, at least we've picked up the three flight points so we can fly back up here without too much difficulty. Um, that's going to make it a little bit easier. But anyway, that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.